Hi everybody and welcome to my official studio slash bedroom tour. If you guys don't know who I am and you're new and this is maybe the first video you've ever seen from me, my name is Krista and I am an artist and an illustrator and a game dev and a content creator who lives in Canada. I've kind of just been filming my adventures of starting a online business. This video has been a long time coming. I have talked about it on a bunch of my socials. I've teased bits of my finished studio to my patrons and a little bit on my Instagram. If you guys follow me over there, you might have seen little snippets, but I have not done an official tour yet. I'm really excited to show you guys everything that I've been working on for the past couple of months. Let's get into it. Okay, so first I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a refresher of how things were looking before. This room was my sister's old room and we decided to paint it to make it a lot brighter. And we, yeah, we did a whole bunch of work in here. And then slowly I started adding bits of furniture and it was a pretty big mess for a while. But yeah, it's come a long way. So let's see what it looks like now. Okay, so first things first, here is my desk. This is where I spend a majority of my time during the work week. Actually, pretty much all of my time. <laughs> yeah, I love it. It's it's a huge, massive slab of wood that used to be somebody's dining room table. And then I took it and now it is my desk. <laughs> I tried to keep it pretty clean. Um, I also got this really snazzy ring light, which I love. And I also got this little bear who kind of stares at me freakily, but inside, I keep my webcam because I'm paranoid and I don't want to have it looking at me all the time. So I keep it inside of this bear, which is actually a sugar pot. <laughs> so it kind of works. And I like to keep a mason jar of water on my desk because you gotta stay hydrated. And then I have a coffee warmer on the corner of my desk so that if I accidentally fling my coffee somewhere, it will only fall onto the carpet and not onto anything important. And yeah, there is my desk. I really like it. I really like my setup right now. And uh, yeah, it's kind of a vibe. And then beside my desk, I have my little utility cart, which is just crammed with all kinds of things that I use for packaging orders and just like pens and pencils and whatever art stuff. I did a full tour of this a while back and I'll put a link to that because um, it's basically the same still. But it's really handy to have beside me all the time. And then on this wall, I have one of my metal grids with a whole bunch of keepsakes. I have thank you cards from art friends and little art goodies that I bought. And now on the other side of my desk, I have my calendar and my kitchen cart thing. And this corner is kind of just like the warehouse corner of my room, I guess. I keep all of the paper that I use for my printer in here. So sticker paper, print paper, whatever, extra chipboard, everything is just kind of in there. And then my printer is on the bottom. And then I bought this shelf off of Kijiji. It's an Ikea shelf and I crammed it filled with a whole bunch of mailers and stuff. The top shelf is purely decorative. And then as we go down, I have my two different sizes of glassine bags that I use for packing my orders. And then I also have new mailers that I just recently purchased from Uline and all of my prints are here as well. I need to do some restocking desperately but that'll happen later. I'm really proud of this print that I made for my January Patreon. Yeah, for January Patreon. It was a uh, Studio Ghibli themed. And then back here, I have some glassine bags that I've actually put a piece of chipboard in so they're all ready for prints. And yeah, I tape it over so that it fits perfectly because they're just like a little bit too big. And then I have a whole bunch of mailers and I'm gonna go more into these later because I actually just placed this order like a couple days ago um, and I'm prepping for a big shop update, which is super, super exciting. But yeah, lots of Uline boxes. <laughs> Lots of U-line boxes. And then right here, I just have like paper recycling. Um, I just got this little bin at the dollar store and it does the job. Yeah, and then moving over, here is my standing desk, which is right in front of the window and I think it looks super pretty and I really love it. It's very functional. I have a whole bunch of art prints on the wall. Some of them are mine that got a little messed up, so I just decided to put them up, but some of them are other artists that I love. 
And then here I have these little acrylic drawers and they are not organized at all. I need to organize these so much more effectively. But yeah, here is a little cat sticker that I made for my most recent Patreon Happy Mail. Um, and then I have just, the, it's not organized. It's not organized at all. In a perfect world, I would have had that all organized and ready to go for this studio tour, but that didn't happen yet. So, <laughs> and then I have this little sheep head. Thank you cards and some orders that need to be labeled and taken out. And then my little plant corner. And they are actually getting sunburnt right here because there's a little bit too much direct light. And then down underneath the desk, I've actually just grabbed a piece of random plywood from my dad's garage. And I have my guillotines down here. And I also have a pasta maker, which I'm going to be using for something very exciting in the future. And then my brother also made me this Canada Post letter checker so I can see what is standard letter size and what is oversized. And I also have another Amazon Basics guillotine and my art palette under here. And then here I just have little tiny bits of paper scraps and a little duster because they're there's always paper shards everywhere. And I got this tape dispenser thing from Uline for free. <laughs> and then on the other side of this room, this is kind of like my bedroom area. I have this big floor mirror. Hi, it's me. And then I also have a heater because it gets super cold in here and a bucket of socks, big, big fluffy socks because my feet are always cold. <laughs> and then I have some more plants and another mirror, a little thing of scrunchies, picture of me and my boyfriend from a trillion years ago. And yeah, and then here is my bed. It's super cozy. I love sheep. That's why there's sheep on the bed. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this is where I sleep. <laughs> now just enjoy some aesthetic clips of what my room is looking like right now. Another thing worth mentioning is pretty much everything in my room is secondhand, with the exception of some of the IKEA things, but my desktop, my bed, my dresser, my standing desktop, my sh shelf, my kitchen cart, it's all thrifted, which is pretty awesome because you can save a lot of money that way and I definitely recommend it. my bedroom slash studio tour. I really hope you guys like it. I have put my heart and soul into this the past couple months and it's really exciting to see it all coming together. I want to know what your favorite part is. What do you like the most? What part of this can you see in your space? I want to know what you like, what you don't like. Just let me know. Actually, don't tell me what you don't like. I don't want to know that part. Only tell me what you like. <laughs> and if you saw my Sims YouTube video that I released a weeks ago. That was me designing this base in the Sims 4. Can you see the resemblance? How close do you think I got? I'm really curious. So yeah, um, I'm really excited that I got to share all of this with you. And now that I've finally done the reveal, I can start filming studio vlogs in here again. So expect studio vlog content very, very soon. I have a whole bunch of things to share with you guys and a whole bunch of things to unbox and a whole bunch of fun stuff that I want to do, new products I want to make, shop updates, blah, the whole shebang. So anyway, I'm going to end this here because I will literally just keep talking forever. So I'm going to cut it, but I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't, give me a thumbs up because it makes me really happy and maybe subscribe if you want to. You don't have to, but you can. And I will see you guys later. Bye.